The enemy you seek but never seem to find, but always seems to find you, is you. My name is Tracy Viejela Pierre. I am a performing artist. I believe that art and ancestry can change the world. I also see myself as a universal artist that looks to capture many audiences through poetry, dance, comedy, music, and theater. At a very young age, I was very interested in expression. Um, in my neighborhood where I grew up in Miami, Florida, I used to perform poetry. In high school, I entered drama classes and even to get a scholarship into high school, I wrote a speech about how challenging it is for the homeless people of the world. And that actually won me a first, pra a first place um, scholarship to get into the high school, a private high school that I wanted. So it's always been within me to want to express myself artistically and I continue on doing that with ease and with a lot of passion which I think is important anytime you're pursuing a journey. Well I'm Haitian. <laughs> I would say my mom. My mom was very much so into rituals and she raised me on that concept even though I didn't take to it until I got much older, I always kept it in my head what she wanted me to see. And as I grew up, I saw it. And now as a dancer, she sees me dance and she laughs and she's like, what were you so afraid of every time we were performing ritualistic ceremonies? This is exactly what we were doing. And I laugh at myself too, because you cannot run away from who you are because it's, it's the essence of who you are it's what's up well ceremonies honoring you know spirits and gods and different drumming circles that we would have within our home or others other homes that was always the it that was always in the forefront of where we lived and I was always embarrassed because we lived in the hood but my mom was like if I'm gonna pay for this house they can sell their drugs outside and I can have my drumming on the inside and it was kind of funny but I agreed with her she lived a life the way she wanted to and um, she was able to teach us and be an example through that. I think we still are because there are good and negative ways to it. Just, um, just as water is a great way to, to hydrate yourself, some people can actually get water poisoning if you drink too much or if you don't know how to use it, water, is, um, water can drown you like we're sitting here. You know, the same water that is able to feed you and nourish you and give you lots of health and clean you can also be used to harm you. And I think when you look at rituals in any culture, especially within the Caribbean culture, there's a lot that's not understood and we always fear things that we don't understand. It's very natural. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. The essence behind that piece, the dramatizing it, um, as a performer, I don't want to just say a poem. I want to make sure you get it because if I deliver a piece and you don't receive it, for me in essence it's a waste of my time. I could as e easily have written it for myself and not shown it to anyone or put it in a paper, or put it on paper or even in a book that I never sell. But once I decide I want to deliver it, I want to make a statement and I want to make sure that statement is received by the people that have the, the space and the time to hear it and are, are in within that space. So to wear the costume, um, it's a costume that I designed, that's also what I do as an artist. 
I'm constantly trying to be in the new and designing is a natural progression of what it means to express myself because a lot of what I want to do as an artist I don't see out there yet or not in all the pieces that I'd like to see them. So when I wear the wig and I wear the tight pants and I'm wearing the boobs that are out there, it's showing us that one, when we invite people to a cultural event, we're inviting the community and the community is big and wide and anyone is a part of it. And you don't know who you're gonna have and you have to receive it all. You know, we can't hide behind different outfits or different perspectives that we think is African because being African is not what we're trying to be, it's not what we're trying to look like, it's who we are. So there's nothing that we wear that can make us more African and there's nothing that we can do that can take us away from being African. It's within our blood, it's within our DNA, it's within our melanin. And the outfit is there to serve the purpose that whatever you wear, wherever you are, you are African and that's who you are within you, no hyphen, no hype. My goal is to continually move through my art, you know, move through what um, the means of expression that I can to reach a wider audience. So I'm looking to go through Broadway, television, radio, um, really just looking to have my art have many different avenues. I use artists like Maya Angelou to really guide me, you know, and now as an ancestor, maybe even more so, because I see how her art progressed, where she started off as a singer, dancer, raising a single child, like similar to myself, and then going into poetry, performing, directing. I love that. I love the fact that she was constantly evolving and never made excuses for it and never had to apologize. She realized she was growing and her art had to grow with her. And that's how I see myself too as an artist. Um, I did mention the word single mother because it is the word that's commonly used. I don't consider myself a single mother. Um, I do have full support of her father financially and physically, even though we are not together as a, a married couple or a couple at all. We do raise our daughter in harmony and in essence her name, Harmony. And I have the help of my mom who's constantly letting me know if I'm not doing something right and is always helping me and sending me things and teaching me different ways to raise a girl and I invite the community to help. So I have beautiful friends that are letting me know, you know what, I don't think that's the right thing to say to your daughter or this is another way to do it or perhaps use this method and I listen because I don't seek to be right but I definitely want to make sure I'm influencing my daughter in a way that is going to help her negotiate life in a, in a happy manner t-shirts, um, some CDs that are coming out, and books that I'm working on. Um, within my signature poem, I am African, no hyphen, no hype, which is published in the book, What It Means to Be African American Today. Um, that poem um, comes with a t-shirt. You know, if you really are feeling the essence of the message, you're able to recognize that and exploit that within your own style by wearing the t-shirt. So the t-shirts say, I am African, no hyphen, no hype and my logo is on the back. Yes, yes, I have a number um, and I have a website. You can go to ghettogetup.com, which is G-H-E-T-T-O, getup, G-E-T-U-P.com. And that's my website and um, it shows you my bio and it shows you different products that I have and who I am as an artist. And you can also personally email me at my Yahoo account, which is womb2world at yahoo.com. That's W-O-M-B, the number two world, W-O-R-L-D, at yahoo.com. And I would appreciate hearing from you as an artist and as a friend. Um, I want to say what's up to my daughter, Harmony, who is here with me at the park, at Prospect Park. And I'd love to say what's up to my mom, because she was so excited that I was coming on this interview. So what's up, Chef Mireille Etienne, who looks to be a premier Madonna um, chef in Creole cooking. And what's up to all my fans that love my poetry and my dance. I appreciate you, you keep me grounded, and you make me feel loved and happy.